Surprise, surprise. Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County, Arizona, has constituted a special five-member law enforcement investigations panel to investigate allegations that were brought by members of the Surprise Arizona Tea Party that Obama's supposed birth certificate that he released to the public on April 27th might be a forgery. The investigation was begun after citizens of Maricopa County told the sheriff that they felt their voting rights would be compromised if a candidate was on the ballot for president who was not legally qualified to be there. The sheriff's panel, assembled under the authority of Arpaio's office, consists of three former law enforcement officers, two retired attorneys with law enforcement experience. Members have been examining the evidence since September concerning Obama's eligibility to be the president under Article 2, Section 1 of the United States Constitution. The sheriff's investigation is now raising questions that touch on the authenticity of the long-form birth certificate issued last April and the possibility that Obama is using a fraudulent social security number. It is being reported that the sheriff's investigations panel now needs to examine the microfilm documenting Obama's birth as well as the ink and paper original 1961 birth records the Hawaii Department of Health is holding in its vault reportedly. The PDF file and various scanned copies of the birth certificate that the White House released on April the 27th are simply not good enough, the criminal investigations panel has determined. The panel apparently feels that an individual microfilm copy could be forged, but forging the entire microfilm reel on which Obama's birth certificate is in sequence would be practically impossible. The sheriff's panel also wants the ink and paper original 1961 Obama birth records still held in the vault by the Hawaii Department of Health to be released publicly and subjected to independent court-authorized forensic examination. The panel is also reported to have interviewed court-certified forensic examiners who have advised that they can only issue an expert opinion on whether Obama's birth certificate is a forgery if they can examine the original ink and paper records. In addition to examining whether or not the long-form birth certificate is a forgery, the panel is also examining evidence that Obama may have a fraudulent social security number. The panel also is looking at records pertaining to Obama's birth narrative that suggests Barack Obama Sr. may not be the biological father. Reportedly, this cold case posse has assembled some 2,000 pages of evidence in the case and is now preparing to conduct interviews to examine a wide range of questions, including that Obama may not be qualified to be president under Article 2, Section 1 because he was a dual citizen at birth given that his father was listed as a citizen of Kenya when the future president was born. Sheriff Arpaio's cold case posse is currently in the process of briefing various Arizona state officials about the progress of the investigation. Finally, this case is being examined on its merits and the hard evidence by real-life, constitution-loving law enforcement officials. Stay tuned for more.